What's going on, world? It's your man, Mr. Mac, here with AllHipHop.com. I'd like to welcome y'all to the mechanism. Now, we, we're going to do this interview in two parts because Deb is a special guest and she's a special friend. And when she brings special friends, we treat them specially. And we have a very special friend right on her side. Could you please state your name one time for the camera? Hi, my... Stop. I'm sorry. You're Johnny Blaze. Don't do... You can do Johnny Blaze. You see, we're going through a thing because Johnny has two names. Because it's like, I love her, I love her biological name. Mm -hmm. Like, I love it, but she's already changed her biological okay, name, okay. so <laughs> it's okay. She can tell you her you can use name. No, you can What's use her name. name? <laughs> my name is Johnny Blaze, but my real name is Jappel. One more time? Jappel. I would fuck that up so many mm -hmm. times. Well, she did too. Like that. That's the. That's the good thing. Is like I love the name so much. Like, say your home. Say your. Don't say your last. But just say your. <laughs> don't your say first, your last. I just said. Just say your first in your middle. <laughs> Japel von Krishna. So. That does sound like an old name. My my point exactly. <laughs> so that was a name that I picked to use that I wanted to go to come away from because we was gonna bury Johnny Blaze, but unfortunately she tainted that name too. So All she right. could still be. Johnny Blaze. <laughs> how did you mess up your, your government? How did you, I didn't. How did you pull that I, I didn't. I didn't. Deb said you messed up. Deb said Industry wise. Sixty percent of it. If we still, that's that's a lot. still most of we it. Got that's 40. most of it. We got forty. We got hope. No, not no, enough. No, we got no, hope. Forty, forty. Forty's if, not if, enough. If you, we got a lot of if hope. You pass, if you got a test, you scored a forty. You failed. Uh, we got hope. I have hope that it's gonna go back down. In her world, everything is hope. But let's move on. <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm still a little curious why you didn't go with the. Oh, we did. See, you're missing it. No, we Sorry, not. Mecca, you, you're you missing it. Shot? We did. And she got slap happy. And guess what? You know, there's like 15 people. There's door number one, door number two. Mm -hmm. I don't have enough figures. So I got door number she, 20. So she's like, let Chappelle go through some doors already. So now she tainted my name for everything I wanted to do with it. She tainted it. So we can do. Johnny Blaze and Chappelle. How about that? <sighs> Let's move on. Hi, I'm Johnny Blaze, and some of you guys know me as Chappelle. Hi. No, she's <laughs> Chappelle, as some of you guys, well, all of you guys do know her as Johnny Blaze. So now let's move on. Is it, is it, is it difficult <laughs> to step away from old stigmas? Mm. Have you found that yes. to be a, a hard times. hustle? Yes, at times. But um, having her around me teaches me to get better at the things sometimes I bump my head a lot of times majority 60% but we have hope that's the, that's the word that we're going to use we have hope the biggest I'll, I'll, I'm going to ask you this question separately but I want you both to answer what's your biggest issue what's the biggest detriment as far as you see it I don't have a biggest issue I just got to get right I don't believe in having issues I believe in if you're going to keep doing it, that means obviously you choose to do it. So I'm choosing to do it. So when is the time where I'm going to stop? So right now in my life, I have um, gotten better, way better than what I was before. I can say that. And I think she can agree because I was I was pretty damaged. But um, I'm getting better. And like I said, her being around me is helping me, you know, become the person, the artist that I need to be. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I like that question. Look, I really do like that question. Okay? You did it. <laughs> Trying is failing, but you nice. succeeded with that one. <sighs> Johnny Blaze. Hmm. She is definitely, definitely 100% better than she was yesterday. Okay? Little do people know. There was a lot of things that Johnny was going through. One of the biggest things that's, a, that's problematic is she's kind of embedded the things that people have said to her that she carries that with her a lot, that she's feeling that at times this is my attention seeker, this is what's going to get me all the people, so this is what I'm going to do, okay? And not just her, but a lot of people are like that, artists, reality stars, that, that they're like that, and they seem to think that this is, this is what it is, this is how I have to look. Here's the thing that for her and everybody else of what they have to learn and know is that that's not the world. And that's what you have to understand. So people that might have known you, like say in the television world, might not know you in this world. As a matter of fact, in the music world, 
there's not very many people that know your talent. Because if they did know her talent, then she would get a much better response than what she get. But because they don't know, and I think that that's my biggest challenge with her, is trying to make her understand that everybody don't know you. And everybody don't know this talented side of you. So now what you do to mess up is the people that knew all the other sides of Johnny that are not the greatest sides, and now what you're going on and people are learning, you can play all these instruments and you're playing them and you're putting them on social media and they're seeing you, they're like, wow, I love her. But then in the same token, you're inviting them into Johnny Blaze. That's where the Chappelle and Johnny Blaze come in at. You understand? Because Chappelle has grown, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot more people that come behind her. And some people ask me, who is Chappelle? They don't know it. But then you're a person that follows her as Johnny Blaze. And that's why I wanted to slowly but surely put Johnny Blaze to rest and bring Chappelle in. That's our biggest fight right there, being How, able to separate the two of them. How comfortable <laughs> are you with the concept of not being Johnny Blaze anymore at all? I'm okay with it. I'm, it's not like it's a second person. It is me, so I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm one of those can, can people. Can I just say that? And I'm sorry. I don't want her to not be Johnny Blaze. I just don't want the behaviors of Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze is a different kind of female, okay? Her level of loyalty is unreal, and she's a different person also. Her level of loyalty and her truth is to a fault at times, okay? So I'll just, like, kind of say that. Like, yeah. I still love Johnny Blaze. I just don't like some of Johnny Blaze's behaviors. Well, Deb, you know, it, it, it could very well be said that you were describing yourself just now as far as uh, her level of truth uh, and loyalty is to a fault. You know, that's just off the mic. That's not too far away from uh, the Deb that I know and love. And you know, you know what happens with Deb? She, everybody from Nikki to Gucci to J J Jessica Simpson, anybody she's ever worked with, all have traits of her. And she doesn't want to admit it. And we clown her all the time about it. We're like, you know, we're you, right? Like she, in me, it's probably a certain thing that she's like, okay, that's me. In J.O., there might be something that's, that's a part of her. So she has that issue. So she has to admit it. That. I do admit that. That is something <laughs> about everybody I touch. That is something about them that have a part of me there. Yeah. But so. I'm I'm definitely, I wouldn't say that I'm not proud of being Johnny. I just want to clean up. I'm going to clean up more of the temper and the attitude. That's what I mean. Because Johnny Blaze and Chappelle is the same person. You know, it's just. The plenty of people that comes with time and yeah. maturity and growth. Exactly. And that's what that's all about. Absolutely. You to your surroundings yes. You know better, you do better. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Sit there and hold. Make don't judge. Don't judge me. Don't judge. Don't judge. My skeleton uh, still got flesh on yeah, it. Yeah, but see, you know the, the <laughs> thing that's so ill is that this is the saying that you go through. Okay, you have yeah. to know which one you are. Okay, some people have skeletons in their closet, and some have cemeteries. So you just have to know which one. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we gonna keep them gates locked. Uh, All right. right. How, how, uh, how, so the transition into because okay, I can understand that uh, some people may hold on to little brief glimpses they've gotten yeah. of your personality and they of just want to lock you in that box. But now you're coming out, you're you're, you're showing everybody your musical side, mm -hmm. which you gave us a glimpse on when you were on Love and Hip Hop. Yes, we didn't bit. we didn't get to see Not a lot much, of that. Yeah. But now we find out that you're playing. Instru how many instruments do you play? Six. Six, which? Acoustic, the electric guitar, the um, bass, the keyboard, the piano, the violin, and drum. Shout out to Ali teaching me and, and advancing me. <laughs> has, has this always been yes. in the background? Uh, and has this always been the ambition? Yeah. Like, since I was six. Like, my grandmother has a piano in her room, in her house. I used to get whipped for touching it, like, just clicking on it. So when she would go out, you know, to her job... I would start hearing things, songs that I like. And then by the time I was like, I don't even think nine, like probably two years later on Christmas, I played the Fair Lease. And uh, they was like, no, she has to stay. Like, keep her on that. It went from that to going to church to, oh, I could sing, to, oh, let me get in choir. Let me do Apollo. Let me audition for Apollo and get booed because of my body. I look like an adult and you can't boo kids. So go back and you went third place. Then I stand in line for 17 hours for American Idol season six. Don't get picked, but still did it because of my passion with my grandmother. Like it just kept happening. And I just, 
anything I ever been through has just stayed with me. Like the music, I just enjoy doing music. I love writing. I love composing. I love hearing little things and putting them together. So that's always been my passion. Where this this may be a little bit of a pointed question, but I'm gonna ask it just the same. Where do you think the aggression comes from? Because you can't compose with a you know with a you can't compose with a clenched fist. Yes, you can. You can. It's it's an emotion. So you can. You gotta be able to write. You gotta unclench fists. There's many times I was very upset. And I might be writing like that, but I'm gonna make a hit while I'm writing like that. You get what I'm saying? Like my mentality, my, my observation of things is a little different music wise because when I'm upset, I'm going to the studio. When I'm sad, I'm going to the studio. I might write and rip a page up, but I'm gonna make a hit by the time I get out. You know, so the aggression comes from just life, going through a lot, you know, away from passing away, you know family issues, personal things, you know, and I didn't know how to put it anywhere, so I'd hold it in, and then when I met her, she only said she didn't like one song of mine, and it was because I didn't speak my life. After that, it was everything, I I basically, everything I was upset about and that anger released through music, so it's helping me, actually, it's like my meditation, it's my life. It's a therapy. So, yeah, it's therapy, it's definitely. Actually, yeah, it actually became... Yeah. A therapy. And that's one of the things. That's why I'm always beginning. in the studio. She's like, yeah. "Don't go to the studio today. Chill out." And I'm like, "I can't. I gotta go." Yeah. Sometimes so it can become. Go. Sometimes it can become a little She's like, like obsessive. Yeah. But from the beginning, when she came and she brought a song, the first song she brought to me was like, "I don't even yeah. like this." I was like, "Don't bring me nothing back until you bring <laughs> back your, it out. you." Let me hear something about you. I want to hear you. Mm -hmm. And that's where freedom came. Freedom and then love me. It did love yeah. me. Yeah. But freedom. <laughs> if you would hear freedom. It's it's a oh it makes me cry yeah. and there's so many other people that that record really really touches and you you're not gonna do nothing but get emotional because she's a hundred with it it's her it's exactly her and she realized even in doing the record that people didn't know she was crying you know yeah. so when she was cleansing her soul that's when she began to start cleansing who she is so every time we go through something and we go through a lot of things get in that <laughs> studio Johnny somebody say something. Get that, get off the damn internet, <laughs> Johnny. FaceTime and she was like, go ahead. Okay, I gotta get go the to okay. the studio. I got to get the okay. Yeah, and go in like, there. Go and it's like, <laughs> that's where she lets everything go yeah. right inside it's of It's kept the me studio. out of a lot of And it's trouble. kept out a lot. I'm not sure anybody would know that you were this sensitive. Mm. Oh, I'm very sensitive. Mm. I'm, I'm a Gemini. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I'm no, I'm not sure anyone well, would know. Yeah. You know what it is? I cover it up. Well, the Gemini does play in it. You, you got to understand. Well, I wouldn't say Gemini, but different characters and I wouldn't even say characters it's just me I have different emotions if you make me mad I'm gonna get mad but it doesn't mean I don't love you like I get I get mad at many people that I love a lot but I treat them a little different than a person that I don't really care for you know what I mean so with that being said I'm still learning that I right now at my age I'm learning to finally love myself and it's still taking time like I can honestly say that because I didn't know what I was doing years ago like I'm like yeah I love myself I'm keeping myself right but how can you keep yourself right if you're drinking a lot if you're doing these things that make your body lose weight and up and down and stress and stuff like so I had to really get myself together so and I think that that yeah. stuff like for women what becomes hard for us is that when we have so many things beat in our head and you're telling you that this is who you are and this is what you are you believe that it. was the syndrome with Johnny like mm -hmm. that was that's what made me even want to deal with her because when we talked she cried and she just looked at me. She just started crying. She said, the one thing that I want to do more than anything, she's like, Deb, I just want to sing. She said, if I could just sing, but she was told she couldn't do that. I'm she was told teary. these things that crazy. she couldn't do. That was two years ago and I still get like watery about it. Who told you you couldn't oh, sing? It wasn't, it wasn't the singing. It no, was more of, like you can't be anything. Like literally yeah, you who, can't. Who, who, it's just so many. And then at the same time, those same people that were saying that, knew I had talent. They just wanted to be so bitter and angry and, and beat me down to where I was just gonna be the stripper girl. This is you know? why I tell everybody who goes looking for advice, you gotta consider the source. Thank Not you. everybody who tells you, you gotta, you gotta look at where some of this advice yeah, is Yeah, because I didn't from. have some people from Anthony Hamilton to, she'll tell you, like I'm always saying, up, she's like, you're excited. And I'm like, yeah, like people just hit me up and be like, you can sing. Like from 2 Chain stopping my concert, being like, come here, I didn't even know you could sing and I've known you for years. Like how? Boosie saying, I, I love your music. Like this is things that I'm shocked myself. Nas shaking my hand, I know who you are. Yeah, you can sing. Like, 
I never used to get that years ago. It used to be like, oh, that's just a big butt girl that could sing. She, I don't know if she could sing or not, but now it's it's coming into play, and I'm really happy about it. So. How did you two get together in the first place? I'm glad that question brings laugh. I told you I could make a smile. I told you she went um, You want to say it? Right? I, I'll say it. Okay, so I was um, basically, damn near, sorry, almost um, homeless basically in Detroit. He was. Yeah, but yeah, I was. Like, so I'm just keeping it real. I was homeless. And um, I was living with somebody. They let me stay in their basement. And they said, hey, Deborah Antney is with a cash doll, and she's going to have a listening party. And um, we want you to come. I was like, okay, cool. Deb don't know me. Like, why y'all keep, you know, network? I went, and they went until I was there. And I'm like, yo, this lady don't know who I am. My job spent my last little couple dollars at Rainbow, got a little $10 outfit, brushed my hair down. And I seen her, and I just literally, I can't even tell you the, the feeling I had. Like, every time she asked me from that day, can you come down, spirit.com, let me go get a little flight, because I didn't have it like that, you know? Flew down, flew down, and eventually I ended up moving to Atlanta. Like, that's how bad I wanted it, and I signed with her. It really went from a listening party, and I swear I didn't even think she knew me. So that's kind of been... Technically, I really didn't, like, no, I knew... But she knew, but she, was uh, on, but she didn't She was know. on Love & Hip Hop, you know, so that's, like, Love & Hip Hop is my entire family mm-hmm. right there. So I just really, like, knew of her, but not knew of her, really, even with the singing and stuff, but yeah. she just really broke down to me, and she's like, Give she me wanted to. <laughs> that's the kind of stuff that moved me. Not everybody could move me like that, but it was just something about her. And, <laughs> and literally, you know what made me touch her? Everybody telling me, leave that girl alone. That's trouble. Leave her Tell alone. Tell her not to do it. Don't Made do her it. do it. It's like, like it's crazy. stay away from her. <laughs> like, she is trouble. You know, yeah. the crazy thing is, I was told the same thing about her that I was told about Gucci. That's if crazy. you touch her, we not effing with you. Like, leave her. I mean, it was it was the same thing people told me about Gucci. From high, from... It was from there, yes. from around me, from everything. They was like... Stay away from And the from more her. she, like, would maybe take a picture here or just, like, mention me, it just became, like, now people slowly They started just, like, watching her. Like, she's Deb really doing manager? it. Like, I was like, yeah, like. But I like I, breaking people down. Like, I, I love that. And, you know, not very long after getting in, I knew that I was about to really go through some things. Because yeah. she was... You know, I never a female, had female different and not she was a different kind of female, but a female. Yeah. She was a typical woman, like one of the things like scorned. Yeah. Nikki <laughs> spoiled me. Like one of the things that Nikki did is she spoiled me when it came to a female. Okay? Because she had a stable relationship. It's not even so much let, let me just tell you this. I didn't know that Nikki and Safari was together. Not to be funny, but I thought Safari was a gay boy that Nikki had around him that was just doing things. I'm not trying to be funny with that. But I didn't know that that was Nikki's boyfriend until later. One thing about Nikki is that you will never know when she's going through something. And Nikki went through a lot, but you wouldn't know it. Because when it came time for showtime, she showed up and showed out. She would smile. She would do everything. So Johnny was total opposite. opposite. And it was problematic, and it was something that I don't like in women, the weakness in women, period, when it comes to that. Like, guys would never stop doing what they have to do. If you have a guy that just got into a beef with his girl, yeah. you ain't, ain't stopping him. He coming out, he doing what he got to do. He got a show, he coming out, he doing. That's how Nikki was. It didn't matter. So now, every female that I met was like typical females that was like, oh, no. I don't care how talented they was. Oh, no. I can't do this. But here comes Johnny. <laughs> and she was the total way of what I would never deal with in a female. And she was that way. That would I ruin think, her whole career yeah. for I, a man. I think everything that I was holding in yeah. and was going through, she helped me release. And that was what made me the scorned girl that had mm-hmm. So once I start releasing stuff, like my whole happiness, like everything from getting a house, not being homeless. Like she'll tell you, I'll be in the house every day trying to, first thing I brought was a blow-up bed and a piano, a baby grand a, a, piano. A, a piano first, though. The piano first, then the blow-up bed. Then the blow-up bed. Then the blow-up bed. So that's what I brought in the house when I first got the house. So it, it, you know, she helped me find me. 
and I'm still learning me. So she's like, still learning. She's yeah. doing very, very. I mean, Much we go better. through it. We go through knock. <laughs> we go through knockdown dragouts. We went through it today. She's like, Hang up on me again and watch what happened. I'm like, okay. uh, yeah, we, uh, we like, went through knockdown dragouts. But like I said today, we went through that. <sighs> but at the end of the day, she still Johnny's heart is good as gold. Like she has a, a the heart. <laughs> Like, that's the one thing that I do love about her. <laughs> like, she's so freaking lovable. You know what I'm saying? She's dysfunctional, but she's lovable. I'm like a sour patch. <laughs> uh, what's, 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 okay, one thing I want. Has your patience grown? Have you grown more patience? Oh, it's getting better. It's getting better. <laughs> it gets better. Because today, yeah, it does get better. Because usually I would have did way worse. So, yeah, I could say, yeah. It's it's much better. It could get better, but it's taking time. But there's certain things that I used to get mad when we and her argue, or I wouldn't even argue, disagreement, because we don't argue. I don't believe in like arguing yeah, with her. Like it's like a it's like a disagreement, but she means well, and I don't want to accept it at the time. So what I'll do is I'll get quiet instead of being like, you know what, da da da. I just let her tell me, and then I'll be like, you know what, you're right. You know, and I'm wrong. You're right. So status wise. Are you single seeing somebody? Does that play into... I'm not allowed to have a boyfriend. Don't talk to me. Don't go in my DM. It makes me unfocused. So right now... Uh, <laughs> she gets a boyfriend, I'm out. I can't have a boyfriend. I'm out. Well, is, is that like... Cause yeah, because it, no, this it, is for real. This like, is real? we're dead serious. Like, like, one of Johnny's things that she told you... I'm lovable. That I, I, I love. She love. loves hard. And she... Here's, here's the thing. Like, let's keep it 100. Johnny wants to be in love. Now, yeah. Johnny could be all the things that she is, but here's the thing. She's going to make somebody a very, very good woman if she don't completely destroy herself, okay? Because she's very nurturing. She's very attentive to a guy. She wants to take care of him. She wants to cook. She wants to clean. She wants to dress him. She wants to do everything <laughs> it is. She wants to be in love, but here's the yeah. thing. I want her to first love Myself. her. I need her to really get into her to validate who she is and it's not coming through a man. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? It's only but so much you're really going to be able to do for him until you learn to do these things for yourself. And that's mm -hmm. the part. It's not that I'm dictating because I know people are like, who the hell is this? Yeah. I, I'm like, no. She's actually it, helping it's, me. It's like, her I'm and, not yeah. dictating her. Like, and please, let's make this clear, okay? Let's make this perfectly clear because to your viewers, Let's make this clear. Let's set the record straight, okay? This is not about me dictating her life or telling her she can't. She can date, yeah, but she can't fall in love. She doesn't know the difference between the two of them. And I think, like, right now with me, it's not even that. It's, this is You're like a, cho a choice of, yeah, of, of yeah. me. Like, I really am focused. Not saying that I don't have somebody that I care about or whatever. It's just... I know me. I have five steps. I told myself five steps to finally complete to really genuinely love me. And I think I'm on like the second step, like just getting to the second step of, oh, I actually like the color blue. Oh, I actually don't like this type of me. Oh, I, I love when I get my nails done on this day. Like little things that you realize that I never realized. So in order for me to love somebody else the correct way, I got to love myself because if they go, you know, like oh, my boyfriend, for example, that passed, like when you go, I didn't know what to do. So that taught me things. Like, you got to learn when somebody leaves or somebody's gone, like, can you still hold yourself up? And that's my problem. When people leave, I panic because I need them. I'm thinking I need them, and I, I don't need anybody but God in my family, my music. So she helps me. And not to say that my mom is not around. My mom 100% them too. Yeah. Oh, my God. We just don't want to stress my mom out a lot because, you know, she just got diagnosed with cancer and uh, lupus, you know, and I don't like to stress her. So I would go to her more because i rather tell my mom, like, hey, I'm painting the house. Hey, I'm doing this. You know, so I'm just focused. So I am single, and that helps me. And she's not ready to mingle. And no kids. So just, just to get that clear. Really? Her, no, but her dating side is, like, really, really good. Like, that's really cool. But I date myself. She just cannot get into that serious part of that because... I go to movies by myself. She's a liar. But she's <laughs> special. And, and she's learning to love. She's learning to love 
the mm. animal that she got in herself in her house. And it's like right now she's like falling in love with being in her own home and no, going but... through that. And she haven't had that, so she's getting to decorate. She has too many rooms that she don't know what to do with them. You know what I'm saying? But there's a musical side to every room she wants to yes. place in all of the rooms. She wants something to do with that music somewhere around in the, yeah. you know, in that room. But every time, she's like a kid in a candy store. It's like, Dad, guess what I just did? Guess what I just felt? I got oh a new couch. I got, I got a new this. I got a guitar. She's she like, what are you doing? Excited. Like she would've got a guitar. Oh, I gotta go get this. I gotta I go get I did a that. housewarming with just a baby grand piano in it, and it was no chairs, no nothing. I bought pizza and, and Pepsi, and it just so happened all my friends that I invited they all do music, so it was kind of cool. Everybody music, played on a piano. That was it. They just played, just played on a piano, piano and sung, I and mean, we chilled. So it was cool for me because I never had that. I never had a house growing up. You know, I lived poorly, but my mom did what she could. You know, my mom in and out with cancer and stuff. So basically, she they restricted her from having a job. You can't. She, you know, has seizures and stuff. So my mom did the best she could, but she always made sure, even if it was a little twenty dollar piano, she's gonna learn that that keyboard. She's gonna learn this instrument. You know, so shout out to my mommy. <laughs> it's my sister. Yes. Even with the military background. Yeah, traveling a lot and stuff. My grandparents, you know, like that helped me now as an artist. So when I do have time, yo, you got to go to Paris, you got to go to England. I don't, it doesn't make me homesick because I could just FaceTime, Tango, whatever you do. Shout out to Android and iPhone. Um, and I'm okay with it. I choose not to have kids because I know, be, speaking of attachment, I'm not going to do nothing else. You know what I mean? Like, I'm going to want to be in love. And so I, I structured myself, like, prepare yourself for later. Right now, get your money, get this music done, you know, and um, enjoy, you know, rising. So, yeah. Well, you got all the time in the world. Yes, I'm 26, so I'm 90s, baby. It would take a Do you feel as if this is going to may take a little bit of a serious turn, but honest, do you think you, you feel like you're saving her? you feel like you're maybe saving a life? Yes. Um, I don't know if it was what you would say saving. I just wanted Johnny to have the opportunity to have somebody to deeply believe in her and to know that she's better than what she thinks she is and that she could do anything and everything that she wanted to. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if I'll just say the saving part um, because in the beginning, I didn't really, I didn't know I was going, I was going into she, Pandora's yeah, she, box. She really didn't. Like keeping it 100 like, with you. I did not know, seriously, I was going in Pandora's box. It doesn't matter what everybody say. You know, um, you know, and shout out to the same people now that's coming at her and that wants her because you get to see all these good things that I had to go through. Um, let's get back to the Because you wasn't around when I came up. Oh, hmm. no, that's right. So hmm. we have to just say that. Like, we have to. Because, you know, it never ceases to amaze me. Like, I still do go through that, like, who you didn't want. Those are the same people that's coming in. You know, that they're watching and then they get to come in. And but you know what? Touch. We're still humble. Like, we don't be like, oh, no, we not. We just be on Nobody's some cool. Nobody's on nobody. Yeah. You know what I love about her, too? Another thing, okay, with females, that she's actually done some of the things. That's one of the things I always tell females I work with them. It's like, what I'm, what I'm going to give you, I want you to be able to give that back, okay? And that's a big thing with Johnny. Johnny does a lot of collaborations with people. She definitely loves people. Like she's doing an all-female project. Yes. Like she's oh, doing so nothing great. but females are on here. I'm really adamant about that, about females getting on records with guys before they even pop off and they start. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, because I want people to love them for them and not the guy. Because if you look at history, when the guy is gone, the female is gone. Mm. Yeah, okay. You know? Oh, my. I got a phone that's ringing. Oh, wait. Did I have a phone that's ringing somebody? The number you have dialed has been disconnected. Please but hang up. This phone never rings Ring. for me. And now it's ringing. Um, oh! She can't even get to it. Oh, it's another one. First world problems Stop. become my problems. I just and it's the pink one, and now the person hangs up. Whoa! Way to go! See now, I, I, I don't even. Know how I, I don't even know how to put this on vibrate. Like I, I don't even. I don't even know how I feel about that. Either. Now it's like yeah. and she went hard on all of us. Yeah, make sure you turn your phone off. Three phones in my bag, and that phone literally. Let me just tell you this: that's the bat phone. That phone do not ring. Which number do I have? You got the bad phone. Which, which number you got do I have? I think, Mecca, you have the number I've had for like 21 years. And that's not the bad phone? No. See? That's, see and listen, that's that, see. guess what that phone, I call that phone. 
It's community property. I'm not about to play with y'all. So to, to it's <laughs> community property. That phone is community property. Everybody and everything has touched that phone. I, I feel suddenly so much less special. The phone is used. It's a used up phone. It's so, 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 so and I'm on the used phone. That's me. That's, that's no. Me. Well, it's your phone. love. Your love, though. If she pick up, you're still love. Community property. I got In other words, when I say that. That phone has been with everything and everybody. See, what people fail to realize, before these people, I was with a whole lot of other people and I was doing things and I was in the background. It's just that I get these wild people that puts me in the front and gives me a platform and then there it goes and I'm sorry. She pointed at you when she said wild people. I didn't even see you She's do that. She's not the only one. Could... No, I'm not going to just put this on her. She just started. No, I just, I just thought that was like... <laughs> she just started. And the door pointed right to that. Like, I didn't even know she... This one here... Um, no, but what she was saying about like the album, like I'm doing a girl album, you know, I pick like 15 girls that's up, upcoming, such as like, you know, um, no, well, Cherish is on there. Yeah. Cher well, Cher well, Cherish is definitely on there. Um, um, we have, um, Talone and, and, and just people that, uh, the girl that's from a a a um, Iraq or where is she from? Is she from Iraq? This is another girl, but it's it's basically a girl album that I decided because you don't see women come together and just do features. I'm not gonna hate on you. I might not like you, but that don't mean that I, you know, will take away your talent and be like, oh, she's not talent, you know, talented. Um, with the album that I'm coming out with, I have people such as can we say or yeah, yeah. T Pain, T Can Cash, Ro James, um, Elephant Man, Black Youngster, Soldier Boy, Cherish. Um, just got in touch with Saya, you know. Um, I just, it's it's an honor to just like really work with these people and it's just so easy to do it. Like they just genuinely like, hey, you know, people that want to mentor, like I just went with uh, Anthony Hamilton a couple months ago. He told me to come to his concert so I could see how he performs. Like these people like are genuine. So it's it's going to be an exciting ride. She year. gets some really interesting people yes. that reach out. Like, you know, one of the biggest people, I don't, I don't know how much a lot of people know, but T-Pain is one of the most talented guys you'd ever want to. He wanna, came to me. Like ever, ever want to see. And yeah, T Pain is phenomenal. Me like too. he's really, really good. Writing wise. Um oh. his pen game is crazy. And Johnny, which is even better, she's a hell of a writer. You know, and she can do production. Like she literally do, like, nope, that sound up, we need to go over here. Oh, we need to go. Like yeah. people get upset with, but she knows what, I don't mess with her in the studio at all. At I FaceTime her one time yes. and let her listen, she like good. And See that's it. I just hear it, and and I know it's like. And as soon as I'm like, okay, she on a good track with that. You know what I'm saying? But she's very, very talented. And the next thing I will say, she'll call me up with females, or singing, rapping. She said, "Oh my God, it's a good song. She killed that." Even if she doesn't care for her, she always mm -hmm. big them up. Like, and she will support them. She will still buy. That's. I don't think you understand what that means to me. So mm -hmm. when I see these behaviors in her, great. <laughs> great, great, great. She's I'm a, a sour patch.